Hello guys, my name is MarcusAssin91 and I'm going to show you how to get the Super Saiyan 4 transformation. Uh, not transformation per se, but it is a change of clothing that they did for the DLC pack 4. I will tell you that you do need to get the DLC pack 4 in order to get this. Um, so the mission we're doing is called Heretics from the Dark World. Um, and as you can see, you need to make sure that uh, in order for you to get the bonus mission, you will need to keep Super Saiyan Goku Black Rose at above 50% health. And also in the DLC pack, we also get Super Saiyan uh, Blue Vegeta and Fused Zumasu. I will say this is my first video ever doing this, so if you do okay, great. If not, let me know. Um, it's my first video. Uh, it seems there is an out of place element present. Do you work for the gods? <laughs> You'll notice that foolish enough to entrust their mission to this floating orb around me. It's basically uh, it's called a, it's a skill from the East Kai. Um, it's basically one of those special. Um, and we do hate Building things that you get to use as your character and basically what it does is it nullifies the dark characters from causing poison on me uh, causing serious damage with their abilities and uh, it stops them from slowing down the skills <laughs> alright so the first thing we have to do is beat Golden Frieza in her in his, sorry in his uh, ultimate form. It's pretty easy. It's not too hard to beat them. Um, I would recommend that your character is at least 85, between 85 and 90 uh, in order to do this. It's pretty simple, um, but if you have any characters lower than that, it may be a little difficult. But when you're at 85 or close to 90, it's pretty simple if you've got the skills and your characters build up to certain standards. You notice the way my character is standing, it's not like a normal charging. Um, basically what that's called is Defin uh, Divinity Charge, or Divinity Unleashed, and that is a skill I got from this level. Uh, basically what it does is it charges your character slowly, so it's going to charge your character's key pretty slow to about the first one or second one instead of the extreme charge that you get. Um, and what that does is it's supposed to give your key or your abilities when you used when you use the abilities for a brief moment in time, uh, it's supposed to give you more power. You see up in the left corner of my screen below that there's an orange glowing icon right next to my transformation. That's basically telling me that the divinity skill has improved my uh, key skill. Next we gotta do is beat Perfect Cell. Um, again, not too hard to beat if your character is uh, pretty skillful all around. Uh, this is also another new skill, it's called Holy Wrath. Uh, I got this from another mission, I'll do a YouTube video of that later. Um, but what this skill does is pretty cool. Um, basically, I can charge the key, charge it up twice and then I can use the left stick to move around. So it's kind of a useful skill, so when you're using your skills, you're always worried about not hitting your target. I can hold down that button for as long as I want to and then move my character to make sure I don't miss my target. However, I will say it's not as strong. Um, it is, it, it's, decent. it's decent, but it's not super strong, uh, like the, like the different part I have over here. Um, that one's definitely stronger than the skill, but it is a good skill to have if you don't want to miss your target all the time. And right now I'm using Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta to, uh, keep my... <coughs> sorry, stop going too hard now. Um, to basically give me that still that kind of Super Saiyan 4 transformation with the gold bar and everything. Uh, and that skill I was talking about with the Earth Splitting Galaxy Gun. 
I have kind of noticed that cooler supernova tends to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest, skill around um, when it comes to super skills. Um, I haven't gotten the other super skills from the last DLC pack, um, which is Super Saiyan Black Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black's Kamehameha skill. I have not gotten that one yet. Um, there are some other skills for the new DLC I have to get. Um, when I went and I, I got the update at like 6 o'clock on the 26th, um, AM, so it came out on the 26th, which that was pretty cool. Um, download it and I've beaten the levels. I know the, <clears throat> I know the secrets you need to do in order to get the extra missions. So now, right now, since we beat, uh, Cell, we have to beat Kid Boo. See, as you noticed, it went up, to, uh, that skill made two beeping noises that basically goes up, it uses, uh, two, two charging abilities. I charged it for longer, it doesn't seem like it's made a third skill, um, but again, you can just charge up briefly and just do a quick attack and then charge up again to get more of a, bit of a longer, um, if you, if you want to. Right now, I'm just gonna let my character build up his, uh, Stamina, since I don't really have a lot of stamina, I'm mostly building it up on key. <laughs> so much raw material to work with. <laughs> Alright, so now what we have to do is beat Toa and Mira. Um, and again, you have to do this while Go Rose Goku Black's health is above 50%, otherwise you will not get the special mission that comes after this. Um, this doesn't really affect you not getting the clothing at all, um, but as long as you get Keep Goku Black's health above 50, you might get some extra um, clothing out of it. Sorry about this, I was pausing the video to uh, Make sure I was uh, checking the time I was drawing so it would last. This is on the Xbox using the upload program. Yeah, so the new, two new skills that I have currently for my character uh, is the Divinity Charge. And also the, you know, Holy Wrath skill. Those are the two new ones for the DLC pack 4. I will say that the free DLC packs, I did not see them in the store as a regular item. It may be that you have to go to the TP store during Friday through Sunday to get those. Um, it may cost some TP skills to get the, you know, the monkey tail, the Super Saiyan tail that you need. Just the basic one. Um, but if you want the Super Saiyan 4 tail, um, that is in this video that I'm showing you. You will get the Super Saiyan 4 transformation, Goku specifically. I need more energy. I go. And see, right now I'm moving around, makes it easier for me to uh, make sure I don't miss my target because. I hate those moments when the character just tends to tell, teleport while I'm using my ultimate move and then I miss. So this Holy Wrath is so is useful in its own way. What's happening? You can't be serious, Mira. Fatigued already. I've done this a lot of times, so I have a lot of the... I've got quite a few of, of the this Super way. Saiyan 4 clothing already. Um, mostly the tail. Alright, I finished the mission. Uh, I kept Goku Black's health above 50, so now we're gonna do the expansion mission. Toa is leaving, and Mira is gonna get back up, and we're gonna fight Mira in his, uh... Not his ultimate transformation, not, a, not his fuse transformation, but the ultimate transformation he got before he fused. If you haven't beaten the mission already. Right now I got an equipped, that's one of the clothings. Um, it could also mean that you got one of those special um, enhancements from, you know, like I've got for the South Kai, the ability to block off all those skills. I haven't quite looked at those yet, but 
it is. Uh, I'll have to look at that later. And um, yeah, that goes. Get out of my sight! Yeah, if you notice, my looks have changed, but not the eyes or the eyebrows. So if you do want the Super Saiyan 4 look, you'll probably have to go into a, make a new custom character and probably change his eyes uh, for the Super Saiyan 4 look. But a Super Saiyan 4 inner uh, outer pupils may not may be green as well when you transform to get the Super Saiyan 4 look, but you'll still have the Super Saiyan 4 eyes. As you can see, close up my eyebrows have obviously changed to kind of a yellowish color. Um, but again, it's it's a good look. I like the Super Saiyan 4, Saiyan 4 transformation. Yeah, we got our Super Saiyan 4 transformation and the tail. I'm really excited. Uh, I am a little disappointed that the, super, that the tail does not move, as you probably noticed during the video. But um, maybe if that could be tweaked. That may be a little much for the producers, but hey, we got the tail. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm not going to complain too much. All we gotta do is beat Mira, and then we should get some extra clothing. And when I did this uh, about the second or third time, I did get the um, Divinity Unleashed skill. Get out of my sight! I haven't really checked to see if it actually increased my skills at all, um, to see if it actually damaged them a little bit more or not. Uh, it says it's supposed to improve my key more than it is right now. Um, but I'll have to test out a few skills, a few more skills to find out if it actually does anything. I will say it is a slower charge than the ultimate charge, which allows you to charge skills faster. So if you're trying to get through a mission with time and you want to hurry up with that, I would probably suggest just sticking with the extreme charge, because um, it will give you a faster charge and you can use your skills more often. But if you like this charge, because it gives you more uh, destructive abilities, go ahead. Um, I still have to try it out a few more times to see if it does actually any more damage than the regular one. What? What a monster! You've reached a level any Saiyan would dream! Alright, so right there I got Super Saiyan 4 Goku suit pants, and I've also got the Super Saiyan 4 wig and tail. Now, what that means is the, the Super Saiyan 4, if you, in order for you to get the tail, it comes with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku wig, so you get the Super Saiyan 4 look, instead of getting Yamcha's hair all the time to get the Super Saiyan 4 look that you're going for, um, which is nice. Alright, so I'm going to go into my custom look, and I'm just going to show you uh, how it looks, basically. So right now, I only have the Super Saiyan 4 upper body, and I also have the accessory Super Saiyan 4 wig and tail. So yeah, there's the hair and the tail attached to it. I'm just going to remove this to show you. So The hair and the tail are attached to each other. You can't separate them or anything. Um, it's just to make sure that you get both accessories of that look. And then with that, I think what I think is pretty cool with the, what the gamers did is that LA allowed you to keep your, you know, custom pants, feet, and hands, so you can still, in your own way, make your custom character. I liked the uniform look, so I get to, you know, keep the black belt pants, and I also got gloves for my character. Um, yeah, so I removed the gloves here to show you that the Super Saiyan 4 transformation cuts off at the wrists. But yeah, I did it that way. Um, I like the look. I like to get my uh, I got my own custom Super Saiyan 4 character. So even though my character does look a little bit like Goku right now, um, it does it. It's nice to have a Super Saiyan 4 character of your own. So this is the E Supreme Kai Supreme Soul Super Soul. I don't know where I got it from, but it's also it's always supposed to reduce damage taken from all attacks, which is small. It nullifies the poison, nullifies movement reduction, and nullifies hindrance damage, uh, which is nice against those characters who like to use those skills a lot. So it helps uh, make sure your character stays in com uh, peak peak condition when he fights. Uh, this is the Hoyle Wrath launches a chargeable key using the left stick to move. That's the one I showed you earlier, allowed me to move where I wanted. Uh, and this is the Divinity Unleashed, charges your key after you have charged after your time, the amount of key you gain temporarily increases. 
So basically what that means is I think in, in some way when I charge, when I use my key, my key bar goes up one. Um, so when I think I've used up all my key, I get one key bar left over. Uh, that are supposed to help improve my skill. And then the Super Vegeta Transformation 2, uh, because I focused my character on key. Um, so I still get the special skill that comes with that. And then this is just uh, my max health. I max that out. Um, I'm going to probably keep my key the same. My stamina is pretty pretty good. Basic attacks I worked on. And then key blast supers I'm working on right now. And that's the video.